Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SBR contributor, and today we're going to give you an early NHL Western Conference update. And first of all, how you doing this morning, Ross? I'm doing very well, Dex. I hope you had a tremendous weekend as I had as well. Oh, my man. The Saints won uh, last night, so I'm pretty happy right now. All right, so you're the expert right now in this case, so I'm going to ask for your opinion. Who's been the strongest team in this Western Conference so far in the early going of this season, Ross? Well, I, in my article, I listed three teams that are most likely to succeed this year, and I don't think it'll come as any surprise to any NHL observer. Number one, the Chicago Blackhawks. They had no significant roster movement entering this season, and this is a team that's been to the Western Conference Finals the last two seasons and won the Stanley Cup in 2013. Obviously, the defending Stanley Cup champion, Los Angeles Kings, what can you say about their accomplishments over the last three seasons? They've won two of the last three Stanley Cups. And the year they didn't win it, they advanced to the Western Conference Finals. And just like Chicago, their roster from the one that finished last season dancing around the Staples Center with the Stanley Cup is pretty much stayed intact. And the Anaheim Ducks, this is a team that finished on top of the Western Conference standings in the regular season a season ago. And they advanced to the conference semifinals before being eliminated by Los Angeles. This season's team, in my opinion, might even be better than the one we saw a season ago. So those are my three top teams right now. The Chicago Blackhawks, the LA Kings, and the Anaheim Ducks in the Western Conference. All righty, Ross. Now, which teams have actually been a little bit more disappointing for you in this early going of the season? Well, I have three teams listed here. The St. Louis Blues, they're off to a four and four start to the season and maybe they can take the contrarian approach as opposed to years past where they had a terrific regular season and then a big disappointment in the playoffs it seems like on an annual basis maybe they could have a so-so average regular season make the playoffs and then have an outstanding postseason the jury will still be out as far in that regards I should say the San Jose Sharks are another team that's got off to a disappointing start uh, the Sharks might still be suffering from an early season mental hangover resulting from that monumental collapse in the Western Conference quarters finals against the Kings last season where they blew a 3-0 series lead. There's no question the superb talent level on this roster is intact. Uh, this is a team I look that a sooner or later will wake up and uh, turn it on and they'll be in the middle of the playoff race. And the Colorado Avalanche, it's been quite uh, evident early on, Dex, with their 2-7 and seven start to the season, they're not going to catch anybody by surprise like they did a year ago. They're nowhere near as good as a team that won the Central Division title last year, but they're nowhere near as bad as the team we've seen start the season at 2-7. and seven. All right, now, Ross, I know it's super early in the season again, and I know it's not the norm to be asking these types of questions so early at the point, so I'm going to put you in the spot again. Uh, in your opinion, which of these eight teams, which eight teams do you actually see uh, making the Western Conference playoffs? Well, like we did in the Eastern Conference, I'm going to put them in order of where I see them being seated. And again, folks, please keep in mind, we're seven, eight, nine games into the regular season, so a lot can change between now and April. Right now, I would have the Chicago Blackhawks as my number one seed, the Anaheim Ducks number two the L.A. Kings, number three, the San Jose Sharks at four, the Minnesota Wild at five, the Dallas Stars at six, St. Louis Blues at seven, and eighth and final playoff spot right now I would give to the Colorado Avalanche despite their slow start. All right, and which one of those teams would you actually have to pick? You know, it's tough to go against the L.A. Kings, but let's not forget, Chicago extended the Kings to seven games last season before losing game seven in overtime, and then they had to sit back and watch the L.A. Kings absolutely dominate the New York Rangers in the Stanley Cup playoffs. I think it's the Chicago Blackhawks' year this year, and uh, if, as far as any other teams I see as serious contenders to win the West, the L.A. Kings, obviously, and the Anaheim Ducks, as my other team as well. All right, fantastic stuff, Ross. Thanks once again for all the valuable insights and can't wait to talk to you again tomorrow, my man. I always look forward to it, Dex. You have a wonderful day. You do the same and everyone that's watching, have a great day as well. And for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. 
big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.